Hey guys, I'm here recapping the Sony press conference that just happened, and goddamn, they dropped a huge bomb, and I'm going to talk about all of the bombs they dropped. They dropped a lot of good stuff, so let me just go and um, tell you guys on what happened at the event and everything about that. So they opened up with, you know, their epic montage of all their Sony games and all that, which I do love. Every time they do that, I always want to see, you know, which games I could spot out, you know, oh, holy look, that's infamous, that's Uncharted, so... It's always, like, a fun thing for me to, you know, see and basically, you know, point out the games that I know. And, um, basically, they said thank you to the fans for supporting the PlayStation. And and then they uh, were saying that the PlayStation would be turning into a sharing device. And I was like, what? Oh, and then they talked about the Vita. There's over 125 exclusive games on the Vita and over one or over 650 games in total. Vita game, Vita... Well, Vita users, you know, people that own the PS Vita, have more than 10 games on their system. And the Vita is like no other portable console. Dual analog sticks, HD graphics. I can see what they're saying. And uh, they say that they want indies and devs to go and expand the Vita game list. So they are bringing over 80 games by the end of this year. And they uh, first up announced the God of War HD Collections 1 and 2 for the Vita, which is awesome. They also said that Final Fantasy X and X-2 will be coming to the Vita, along with Flower. And then they said that uh, The Walking Dead 400 Days will be coming this summer to Vita. And The Walking Dead summer will basically be having Season 1 along with 400 Days. I'm not exactly sure what the 400 Days is. I'm not sure if it's a bundle or it's just Season 1 or whatever. Didn't exactly specify that within the conference, or I, or I wasn't just paying attention. And they say that they say that this coming holiday season will be the seventh holiday season for the PS3, and they are still going strong with their holi- with their holiday lineup. They showed us a bunch of new games like Beyond Two Souls and Gran Turismo Six, and they say that um, The Last of Us is the highest rated game on the PS3, and Naughty Dog has created two of the highest rated games on the PS3. Did I say PS Vita before? But the Let me say this again. Last of Us is the highest rated game on the PS3, and Naughty Dog has created two of the highest rated games on the PS3, which is The Last of Us and probably Uncharted 3. And... They then showed us the new Batman Origins trailer, which showed off more villains like Bane and Joker. And that game will be coming out on August... No, not August. October 25th. And the PS3 will have some exclusive skins. Next thing they talked about was Grand Theft Auto V. That they will have an exclusive bundle that will come with the headset, the PS3 system, and the game of, and the game itself. And of course the controller and all that, you know, stuff. And they are in all of the games that they just previously talked about will be launching before the end of this year. PS3 delivers a hit after hit, as they say. And the PS3 reveal, well, not PS3, PS4 reveal, they showed off the console, that it's a new platform, completely new PlayStation, breaking, break, breakthrough content for all gamers. Capitalizing on that is that Sony said that it is the most powerful entertainment system. That might be, you know, them saying, you know, oh, you know, get the PS3 or whatever, but I'm not exactly sure if it's the most powerful list. It's definitely power. It's definitely more power than the Wii U. <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, they then talked about that PSN, PlayStation Network, and PS4 will be for gamers. And then Sony Need Pictures came out that they will do everything to go and bring uh, content to the PS4. Music and Video Unlimited will be better on the PS4. It will be there on day one. Netflix, Amazon, Instant Video, and more platforms like that will be on the PS4. And most of the Netflix users use it on their PS3 because I think that the PS3 Netflix is the best, I believe. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah. And um, the PS4 is all about the gaming experience. They talked about on how social media connects to gamers and over 30 PS4 titles are in development. They then said that 12 of those new titles will be new IPs. And new games coming to the uh, PS4, like The Order 1886, which looks pretty good in a unique concept. They then showed us an update on all of their previous games that they showed off, like Killzone. Uh, more gameplay of, you know, just the guy shooting stuff, not much different for me. 
They also showed us Drive Club, which looks a lot more cooler. And the game that I was hoping that they showed off at this year's E3, which they did, Infamous Second Son. Now, they showed us some new uh, story elements. We don't exactly know the full story, but we know more about it. They also showed us on how um, the new character gets around. Also, new powers, new melee attacks. And these are powers. These new powers are amazing. And then they showed us Knack, which it looks like that they had a lot more, you know, development time, of course. And there's a lot more things to go and play with. And they did say the release dates for these games. I'm not exactly sure on those, but the only one I really pay attention for was Infamous Second Son, and that game will and that game will be releasing uh, the first quarter of 2014. So I can't wait. And um, there will be better human emotions on the PS4. And um, this tech demo called the Dark Sorcerer. It basically showed off on you know the emotions of a character on the PS4. And the graphics look pretty good. Everything about that, damn right, good job. You know, perfect. And um, they said that they will be supporting the indie games more. And they are amazed on what indie games have created and, and inspired us. And they are partnering with Super Giant Games, which the guys I made Bastion. And uh, they showed off their new game that will be coming out next year for the PS4, Transistor. The art style looks awesome. And, like I said, it, it it was created by the people that made Bastion, so, of course, the gameplay l does look a bit similar. Which isn't a bad thing, because I heard uh, Bastion was actually pretty good. And, um, indie, indie developers could self-publish themselves on their own content. Indie games will be selected, well, a new indie game section will be added to the PlayStation Store. And then they said that the uh, these new indie game uh, uh, developers will be part of them. Part of the new Sony family, uh, Clay Entertainment, Tribute Games, Young Horses, Switchblade Monkeys, Ragtag Studios, Red Barrels, Odd World. Well, the people that made Odd World, and 17-bit Games will be part of the new Sony family. I think that's what they were talking about. And um, there will be a new Odd World game, which will be coming out. Uh, to the PS4, it'll basically be a remake of the first game, so I have never played the games, so I will be hopefully picking that up. And um, each game that was shown at the uh, each game that was shown at the uh, PS4 thing, uh, well, the indie crowd, they will be PS4 exclusives. And then they talked about on how Diablo 3 will be on PS3 and PS4. There will be exclusive items. Like, items from, like, Uncharted or something like that. And then Square Enix came out to go and show off Final Fantasy versus XII. But then they turned it into Final Fantasy XV. And they dropped a huge bomb with the next announcement with one more announcement from Square Enix, which was Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh my god! Kingdom Hearts 3. Finally. Gamers all over the world can now finally say there's going to be a Kingdom Hearts 3 and I thought that they were going to, you know, talk about 1.5 HD. But no, this is Kingdom Hearts 3. And I can't believe it. It's coming to the PS4. But it might take a while. It might be the new Final Fantasy versus... Who knows? It might take a while to go and make this game. But hey, it better be worth the wait. So, yeah. And then they showed off more Watch Dogs. They, got, they actually showed off some gameplay. Uh, everything within the world you could hack. Um... Powerful weapons, well, his most powerful weapon is the smartphone, and uh, his name is Adam Pierce, I think, and um, he needs to go and save his friend, and, um, well, that's the mission that they gotta play, he, he needs to go sh save his friend, and the gameplay looks like no other, I mean, it looks amazing, great, can't wait for the game to come out, and then they showed off uh, NBA 2K14, pretty cool graphics, <laughs> uh, not much to say about that, in my opinion, because I'm not a huge sports fan. And then they shut off Elder Scrolls Online, which we which will be coming to PS4 in the spring of 2014. And the beta and the beta of that game will be exclusively on PS4. And then they showed off this little cinematic trailer saying that Matt Mad Max is back. And um Next thing they uh showed off was that there will be over 140 games coming to the PS4. And 100 games within the first year. So that is great. 
Next thing is that they they basically uh, called out a war and basically called out Microsoft that Sony will be supporting used games. You could give your friend a PS4 game. Basically, used games are allowed on the PS4, which is great. And no online DRM. You could be disconnected from online and still play it. So basically, Sony called out called on war you know basically bring it on microsoft we got this all right so basically sony's on top of the war right now and i can't wait to go and see what microsoft does next and yeah that that's amazing i will be getting a ps4 personally just because of all those nifty features of it if you could say that uh, next thing they showed off was drive club was going to be free on ps4 when it launches for playstation plus users and then they showed off a lot of Destiny gameplay. There was a lot of Destiny gameplay. It looked impressive. I wasn't exactly interested in it. But now they have a long-term partnership with Bungie and uh, Cloud-Based Strategy, one of the largest gaming libraries. And the cloud service will start in 2014, starting in the United States. And before they close off, they announced the price and when it's coming out. Uh, it'll be $399, and it'll be... And it'll be coming this holiday season. So that is awesome. I mean, Microsoft $500, bit too much. That's that's half of a thousand. $400, we all could stand. I mean, I bought my PS3. It was like 300 extra $100 just for the next gen. Great. Okay, I'll get it. Hopefully, I could get it. So that was basically the entire Sony press, cam press conference. Overall, great. Uh... This video is kind of short because I did really skim through a lot of stuff and basically got to the good things that Sony really dropped on us. You know, the the uh, supporting of used games, the no online DRM, the Kingdom Hearts 3. They dropped a lot of things in this press conference. And basically, Sony's on top in terms of the console, in terms of the console war right now. So. Thank you guys for listening to this video. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Saturday. And also, if you guys want, uh, check out my Facebook and Twitter. I will, be up I will be updating there on future videos and basically sneak peeks and all that. And if you guys want more videos like this, be sure to go and check out my uh, channel. I do have a playlist of thoughts videos, basically e expressing my opinion and all that. So... Uh, also, comment down below on your thoughts on the Sony press conference. Personally, I thought that it is the best. Uh, right now, it's Sony, Microsoft, Ubisoft, EA in terms of the press conferences that they had at E3. So, yeah, Sony's on top. <laughs> and they were the last ones to show off everything. So, yeah. So, I think that is about it. Thank you guys what, for listening to this video again. And I'll see you guys next time with more videos. Game on, gamers.